Patricia Lynn, and this is Hi, my name is Christina Liang, and this is the first Zoom meeting for In One Ear. Great. So yesterday, uh, we gave you a prompt, an inspiration prompt, and I was curious if you wanted to share just like any initial impressions or any thoughts uh, about what we sent your way. Yeah. So the prompt that was sent my way is a quote that says, silence is a sounding thing to one who listens hungrily. And it comes from a larger poem written by Gwendolyn Bennett. And I started doing more research on her, which is really interesting because I read the poem and automatically the image that came to my mind of the writer was a stuffy old white woman. And I was very pleasantly surprised when I Googled her and discovered that she is actually a black woman who was part of the golden age of the Harlem Renaissance, which really resonated with me because Phil and I both live in Harlem and the building that we live in actually was once the place that housed a lot of prominent Harlem residence artists such as Bojangles. Ooh. Yeah, and the things that came to mind Obviously, silence is a key word that I really gravitated towards. And I was thinking this morning about how silence amplifies the sound of ambient nature and noise and how that is such a, a beautiful feeling. Mm -hmm. When you mute all the extraneous extroverted noises and notifications and you just hear the sound of traffic, the sound of birds chirping. And it also made me think about digital cleansing, which I'm actually <laughs> in the middle of pursuing. So today is kind of a no cell phone day. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm not completely free of screens, obviously, because I'm talking to you, but I decided to limit my engagement with digital things to just my computer. And it's so interesting because the number of times I wanted to reach for my phone and just like check it for something, and it's like, oh, this is, I didn't realize how tethered and ad addicted I was to my cell phone. 